Susan Smith is in the house. She always is. We can't get rid of you. <laughs> I've been hanging around all morning. We don't want to get rid of people. you. We love you. You write for a magazine. You do lots of stuff. I do. So what is this magazine that okay, you're writing for? Okay, it's called for? Fresh Juice, and I have this great job where I go to grocery stores, mm -hmm. and I look for new products, and I buy them, and I eat them, and then I write about them. Oh, where do where, where can we get this magazine? Uh, okay, well, it's Fresh Juice uh, is a hard copy, but on the online one, I have a thing called Flavor S. Okay. And so twice a week, I, I put a new product in. And what I found last year was a whole bunch of really neat Canadian stuff okay. that I didn't know whether people knew enough about, and so I just thought I wanted to give them a shout out because I like supporting local. Me and too. Anything Canadian for me is local. Me right. too. I Good. love that. Okay, great. So the first one is called Omega Crunch. Okay. And um, uh, the big news on flax is just last week they got a health claim that says, and Health Canada is really picky about health claims. They don't just like throw them out there. And they said if you have one to two tablespoons of ground flax a day, you'll lower your cholesterol, which can help reduce your chance of developing heart disease. <gasps> now I have extremely low cholesterol, and I've been eating flaxseed for 15 years and some. But the problem is with flaxseed, if you eat it whole, it's called a laxative. It it, it, Kaboom! Okay, and you don't want the kaboombies because you're not getting any of the good stuff when it just goes through. When it goes through, you have to actually grind, grind this stuff. It. Okay, so if it's not I don't ground, like grinding, though. Well, there you go. This is the answer. Because yes, Omega I bugs me to grind. They came up with this process where they sort of shell it. Yeah. And so the shell is there, but it's kind of hanging off. And so you're going to get all the omega-3s. You're going to get the, the soluble fiber, which is responsible for lowering your cholesterol because it's sort of shelled. Okay. And they come in different flavors, and this is a great way to introduce uh, flax into your diet if you're sort of challenged. And for your kids. And for your so kids. So where can I put this on? Okay. I can well, put it on like cereal, cereal or yogurt for the sweet ones, and then they have one that's roasted garlic, and that can go on a salad. Genius. Mm. Okay. okay. The next one is um, Yago is a Canadian yogurt company. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I really like Canadian stuff, but the thing is that they're the first one that are using stevia as a sweetener because stevia just got you're allowed to put it into food, but they did it in yogurt, and this is really good for people who are living with diabetes or if you're really worried about your carbs. And it's a natural sweetener, and I'm much happier about this kind of a sweetener than I am about. Other so ones. you're good with stevia. Then. I am. Okay. Okay. So yeah. uh, especially if you're living with diabetes and you really want something sweet, this is the one to use go with. Use this. They use stevia. I like that one. Okay. I like okay, that too. Okay. Now this one I never can remember the name. It's called Fin. Canina, what is that? Cavina Nudo. Cavina Nuda. Nuda, thank you. Nuda. Nudo. 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 Anyway. I'm something else. This is Hollis Oats. So it's oats that you would have instead of rice. They call it the the rice of the prairies. And you know what? There's some pretty bad news about rice, and I'm, I've been a rice fan for years, but there is arsenic in rice. Okay. And there doesn't seem to be any arsenic good. in this at all. Yay, that's a and good so thing. And so it cooks like a brown rice, and it has a nutty flavor, and I'm really a huge fan. It was developed in, in uh, on the prairies. Big, huge fan of Cavina Nuda. Yeah, and it is Canadian, <laughs> and what do you think of the taste? I love it. It's nuttier. It's, it's more like a brown rice, but it's got kind of a nuttier flavor, but you could use it in a pilaf or as a salad. It's just it's just a genius product. In a pilaf? Pilaf. pilaf. Okay, yeah. Okay, <clears throat> yeah, sorry. Barley, now this is not really new, and it just doesn't have anybody that's, you know, making something out of it, but what the news is is that it got a health claim too, and the health claim is if you have barley, you will reduce your cholesterol. And as a matter Again. of fact, flax, um, uh, oh, Oats and barley all have the same kind of capacity. It's a soluble fiber. It actually takes toxins out of your body, too. I'm a huge fan. It's either pearl, pot, or flour. Big fan of barley. We should all have it in our diet. Oh, you know what? Two, three times a week. Pearl? Pearl, which has got the same amount of soluble fiber as pot. Barley. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> because flour. This is what I was getting to. Timing. <laughs> <laughs> but it's got a different amount of insoluble fiber. But as far as the good stuff for toxins, I and keep everything. it in a jar oh, in my house. And I only bring it out on special occasions. <laughs> if the police come to my it's, door, though. It's a genius food. Yeah, okay. Okay, this one is called Ham Parts. I, I first met them. I first, hello, Ham Parts. Hello. I met them in Manitoba. How are you? I was at a conference and somebody gave me as a, you know, a thank you, a yeah. goodie bag. And I went, what is this? And what it is, is that, okay, once again, we're talking about him. Yeah. But the kind you eat, not the kind you smoke. Yes. And the genius part. I can't part, even read that. Can you? Oh, yes. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Anyway, uh, 10 grams of protein in three tablespoons. Mm -hmm. And so as a morning protein thing for 
women especially, because we don't get enough protein, by putting three tablespoons of this on a, like a Greek yogurt, an unpla uh, unsweetened mm -hmm. one, and some flaxseed, you are lowering your cholesterol, you're getting protein much better than a protein shake. We were talking about this off camera because I was talking about the protein shakes and how I have a lot of protein and yeah. you were, yeah, natural. You 10 want, grams. Yes. And it's a food as opposed to drinking things. Because you know, your, your body doesn't recognize calories as well when you drink something. Um, it needs to have fiber and stuff in it too. I know this, the protein shakes, I'm not slagging them. I'm just saying that I think that this is a better choice. All right. Okay, and the last but not least, you have to end on chocolate. And of course we don't grow chocolate cocoa trees we don't have cacao plants in Canada but Giddy Yo Yo is a, a really ethical company out of um, I think it's Oakville and they make uh, chocolate and cocoa cocoa powder and cocoa nibs and chocolate that is natural look at she's not even listening she's so I'm not I'm trying to figure chocolate. out which one anyway, I'm like, going to try well this one's spicy I that really one's like it spicy. You don't like this spicy this one's That's um, the original yeah but the I'm point of the, the story original. is open it up the point yeah. of the story is is that raw chocolate or natural co uh, cocoa or chocolate has all the antioxidants Oxidants that is responsible for all the research that we hear about lowering your blood pressure and, and lowering your chance of developing heart disease. Look at the cool packaging. They have all these things like don't let this guy your dog because if you give chocolate oh, yeah, to your no, dog, you you'll cannot die. give the chocolate it's, it's, it's to a dog. It's neat packaging. They're, they're so ethical. But anyway, um, they're farmers. They're little Peruvian guys. They go out into the the forest. Like I'm, and I'm not laughing, but you know, they're, 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 yes, the, you are. The story about chocolate is kind of not very good. And they're very ethical, and I'm really impressed with them. But it's raw, it's natural, you can get it at a health food store. And I think that we should end with chocolate. Go to my website, MarilynSmith.com. Okay. There's links to all this. Go check out Flavorettes. Mm. Mm. That is lovely. And thank mm. you for all the great information. I'm definitely getting this stuff. You know, just put it on your cereal. Um, thank you so much. For more information, of course, you can go to breakfasttelevision.ca uh, or at Marilyn Smith. Follow her on Twitter. Right now. Go onto your Twitter. Okay. Follow yeah, her on Twitter. Yeah, and tweet me. I'm yeah. hilarious. This is very good. <laughs>